what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x to the 12 when x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 well our first step would be for us to cross multiply so that means i'll use this two to multiply x to give 2x equal to, I can put over 1 here, so that when I cross multiply, it will be 1 times 1 plus the square root of 5, which gives 1 plus the square root of 5. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to isolate the square root of 5, and we do that by moving 1 to the left-hand side. So we have 2x here. When 1 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 1. And this is equal to the square root of 5. Very good. So now let's get rid of this square root by taking the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of both sides. Now notice that the left-hand side is of the form a minus b or squared and this has a property of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and if we have to compare you see that a is same as 2x so a is same as 2x and b is same as 1 very good and now expanding like this this is a squared so it will be 2x all squared, that represents a squared, minus 2 times a times b. So 2 times a, a is 2x times b, b is 1. Very good. And then plus b squared, which is plus 1 squared. Very good. So we have expanded the left-hand side. And this is equal to, on the right-hand side, square cancels out the square root, leaving behind 5. Very good. Now, simplifying the left-hand side, this square affects the 2. It also affects the x. So, 2 squared is 4, and then times x squared. Very good. Minus 2 times 2x times 1 gives 4x and then plus 1 squared is 1 and this is equal to 5 very good now our next step will be for us to move 1 to the right hand side so we have 4x squared minus 4x remaining on the left to be equal to 5 on the right and as 1 crosses to the right it becomes minus 1. And so this simplifies into 4x squared minus 4x equal to 5 minus 1 is 4. Very good. Now notice that on the left-hand side, 4 is common. So we can factor out 4, open bracket, 4x squared divided by 4 is x squared minus 4x divided by 4 is x. Very good. Close bracket, and this is equal to 4. Now, our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 4. So, I'll divide the left-hand side by 4. I'll also divide the right-hand side by 4. So that 4 cancels out 4 from the left, leaving behind x squared minus x to be equal to, on the right hand side, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I'm going to be putting 1 here. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to move negative x to the right hand side. So we have x squared on the left to be equal to, We've already got 1 on the right, and as negative x crosses to the right, it becomes 
plus x very good now i'm going to be starring this why because this is going to be our recursive x squared which means i'm going to be using it over and over again so let's bear it in mind that x squared is equal to 1 plus x now my aim is to get to x to the 12 and there is a way to get there and it is even a short way now our next step will be for us to get x to the 3 so i want to get x to the 3 and in order to do that it means i'll multiply the left hand side by x so i have x squared i'll multiply the left hand side by x and when i do that i'll also do the same thing to the right hand side which is one plus x i'll also multiply it by x very good because x squared times x will result to x cubed very good and this is equal to now let's open up the bracket x times one is x plus x times x is x squared very good now notice we have x squared here now we're going to be substituting our recursive x squared which is one plus x in place of this so this will be x cube equal to x plus in place of this i have one plus x very good and now let's simplify this so we have x squared so this is s cube equal to x plus x is 2x very good and then plus one now our next step will be for us to raise the left hand side to the two so this is x cube i'm going to be raising it to the two and whatever i do to the left i'll do to the right so i also raise the right hand side to the two so this is two x plus one raised to the two now notice something about the right hand side the right hand side has a property of a plus b or squared which is expanded as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so we're going to be applying this to expand the right hand side so now on the left hand side we have x according to indices powers multiply so 3 times 2 is 6 this is equal to now to expand the right hand side we have to compare that a a is representing 2x and b which is this b here is representing 1 very good now let's expand this like this so this is a squared which is 2x squared very good plus 2 times a times b so 2 times a a is 2x times b b is 1 very good and then plus b squared which is 1 squared so this simplifies into x to the 6 equal to now this is 4x squared very good plus 2 times 2x times 1 that's 4x and then plus 1 squared is 1 very good now i want you to take note of something we see x squared here remember we're using x squared repetitively so this will be x to the 6 equal to 4 times our recursive x squared is 1 plus x very good plus 4x plus 1 and now let's open up the brackets so x to the 6 will be 4 times 1 is 4 plus 4 times x is 4x plus 4x plus 1 very good and now adding up like terms we have x to the 6 
to be equal to 4x plus 4x is 8x and then 4 plus 1 is 20 4 plus 1 is 5 rather is 5 very good now our next step would be for us to raise both sides to the power of 2 so this will be x to the 6 raised to the power of 2 this will be equal to 8x plus 5 all raised to the power of 2. I don't know if you've noticed something that I've already got what I'm looking for. Because from indices, powers multiply. So 6 times 2 gives 12. So I'm going to be having x to the 12 here. But how do we expand the right hand side? Using this same property, we're going to expand the right hand side. So this will be x to the 6 times 2, that's 12, will be equal to, this is our a and this is our b. So a squared plus, I'm using this property, 2 times a, a is 8x, times b, b is 5. And then plus b squared, b squared, that's 5 squared. Very good, very good. And now simplifying the right hand side, we have x to the 12 to be equal to, now remember, this square affects the two values. So 8 squared is 64, now times x squared, very good. Plus 2 times 8x times 5, I'm going to have 80x, very good. Plus 5 squared is 25. Now notice that we have our recursive x squared here. So we're going to be substitute its value. So this will be x to the 12 equal to 64. Now x squared is 1 plus x. Very good. Plus 80x plus 25. And now opening up the bracket, this will be x to the 12 equal to 64 times 1 is 64 plus 64 times x is 64x and then plus 80x plus 25 very good so now let's add up like terms on the left i have x to the 12 to be equal to 64x plus 80x, this will be 144x, very good, and then 64 plus 25 will be 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 2 plus 6 is 8, so this is 89, very good, very good. Now, remember, let's bring recall here, so recall that our given question says x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. So this is what the question says x is. So I'm going to be substituting this value of x here. So this will be, that means x to the 12 will be equal to 144 times x. That means times x is 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. You see that? So this is our x and then plus 89. Very good. So simplifying, we have x to the 12 to be equal to, now 2 divided by 2, 1. 2 divided, 1, 4, 4 divided by 2 gives 72. So this will be 72 times 1 plus the square root of 5. Very good. Plus 89. Now let's open up the brackets. So this will be x to the 12 equal to 72 times 1 is 72 plus 72 times the square root of 5 is 72 root 5. Very good. And then plus 89. Now, we're going to be adding up like terms so that 
x to the 12 will be equal to 72 plus 89. This will be 161. Very good. Plus 72 root 5. Very good. And I'm sure this is our final solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.